Hey, what's up guys, Eskis who here, and welcome back to another video. Today we are starting off another season of Fatal, which is based around the Man of the Matches in FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. You all know there are different variations of Man of the Matches this year, so you will see some different colored items as well in the uh, upcoming screenshot, which I'm about to show you guys right now. Um, also, just want to mention, I do have a cold, you probably noticed it from my voice as well, but um, hopefully that doesn't bother you too much. And hopefully uh, it will be gone uh, soon. Anyway, the YouTubers, you can see them on the screen. Uh, some familiar faces as always. And uh, we're going to be starting off with the first one. That is Marshall89HD. He won the previous Fatal, the Team of the Year one. That's also the reason why there is a trophy uh, right next to the player he has taken. That is uh, Lacazette, the 88 rated version. Then we have Nepenthes. Uh, he went with a 5-star skiller in Di Maria. We have DJ Mario, who I unfortunately lost to the previous uh, previous time. Uh, he went with the 94-rated version of Ibrahimovic. We have Cacho, who went with Aguero. Then we have Nick2018, who went with the 86-rated version of Son. We have Bateson, who also went with Ibrahimovic, but then a 93-rated version. We have myself. I also went with a 5-star skiller like Nepenthes. I went with Thiago. And I'll uh, give a little bit of a reason why I actually went with him uh, shortly. Uh, then we have Maverick Wolves. They went with Mane. And then we're moving on to the next page. We're starting off with uh, Lasty. He went with Mkhitaryan. I was also debating of going with him. But I went with uh, Thiago instead. Then we have Polo. He went with Walcott. We have Zwebeck who went with uh, Salah. Then we have uh, the Spimbros. They went with Yaya Torre. We have uh, Mikel or Michael. I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. He went with uh, the 84 rated version of Fakir. We have uh, Fuji. Also a new... Uh, Participant in this uh, season of Fatal, he went with the 83 rated version of Balde. Uh, we have Pumus who went with Lucas Podolski, and we also have uh, Castro who went also with the 91 rated version of Sergio Aguero. So, those are all the YouTubers. As always, links can be found in the description. And uh, right now, we're going to go over the rules because there actually have been some slight changes. I'm not too sure if there are any changes on this page, but you can just read them by yourself. Uh, this is where the changes actually come in. It's at the bottom, uh, the bottom kind of bit, uh, where it says when the opponent puts the controller down, the maximum goals you can score is four. Um, I think it also counted in the previous season, but I'm not too sure if it was actually mentioned in the rules. So um, yeah, I'm just letting you know. Um, also, it counts as a rage quit when the fourth goal is scored, and if the player returns to the game, the game resumes as normal. Uh, rage quits before 10 in-game minutes do not count, and another game must be played. Um, if the opponent starts scoring own goals, you can only count four of them to be your coin balance, basically. So um, yeah, if you score six own goals, we can only count four of them. Uh, then the final thing, if you receive a red card with any player in the series, they must be replaced with a bronze and this is a rule that has been I think in the series for a while now so uh, I assume that most of you do know about it already and obviously every upgrade must be a goal player minimum then we have the knockout format rules uh, they're the exact same as in the previous season it's the best of three games uh, then we have a new addition as well when it comes to the rules uh, we are actually able to use substitutes uh, but they're actually like selected through a bit of a bit of a process because you can see on the screen in the episodes where you play two games, each starting eleven you face will be very very important because if we, for example, win game one and lose game two, we are allowed to pick one player from our opponent for free, basically. But it is up to you guys which player that is going to be. Um, if we win both games, then uh, we have the uh, the option to pick one player. But uh, still, like, choose between those two teams. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that at the end of this episode as well. There's only one thing that I'm kind of worried about. That is if we come up against, let's say, Team of the Year Ronaldo or a really, really expensive legend. Um, I think we actually came across a expensive legend like Ruth Gold or something in the previous season of Fatal. And uh, we were actually lucky enough to beat that guy. And for me, it will be very difficult to, like, get those really expensive players because I don't have unlimited coins on my account. So, yeah. That will be a bit of a struggle for me, so I'll let you guys know when I'm able to like get a certain player and when I'm not able to get that certain player um, in the episode. So um, yeah, keep that in mind as well. But anyway, those are pretty much all the rules. We're going to be showing you guys the team that I'm actually using uh, around my fatal player, and that is of course Thiago. Uh, it is basically a Bundesliga team with also some uh, some silver informed players in the goalkeeper, the left back, and also the left winger in inform Gnabry. Uh, I I really wish he had four star skillmas because um, he has some amazing looking stats as well and also has, I think a really really nice looking gold uh, version which is a uh, striker I think so um, yeah good looking player really looking forward to play with him um, th the team itself isn't very skillful because only Thiago and uh, the other Spanish midfielder have above four star skill moves uh, Thiago obviously has five but the rest of the players have either three or two star skill moves so 
Skilling, I'm not too sure if it will be a, a big thing when I'm playing with this team, but uh, I'll try my best to score some nice goals, obviously. We also have some, some sweaty players in S1, so who knows uh, what will happen. I'm just going to try to do my best to score as many goals as possible, really, and uh, kind of entertain you guys as well with uh, with some good gameplay. But anyway, the reason why I went with Thiago um, is because I actually am a really, really big fan of him in real life. I just freaking love his play style, but uh, I also had the privilege to actually play FIFA with him um, I actually played FIFA 17 with him alongside uh, Javi Martinez and another YouTuber called uh, Vinsky. He is a French uh, FIFA YouTuber, also does some real life stuff. Um, I will leave a link in the description so you can check him out too. But um, this was actually recorded a, uh, a lot of months back, I think somewhere around the release of FIFA 17. And it was still an early version, so we weren't able to record any gameplay, unfortunately. Uh, which was also the reason why I decided not to make a video on it. Because like, yeah, I just found it kind of weird to make a video just showing you guys the reactions of us playing FIFA. But um yeah, maybe I should have. I don't know. I thought I would just show you guys these uh, these clips because I still had them uh, on my PC, and uh, it was it was a really really cool experience. The fact that those players were like really into it as well made it even better. Like I wish I was able to. Uh, to let you hear like the sound and stuff because the mic that they actually used it was like record from a gopro which was like in a closed shell so you can't really hear anything but um yeah the reaction says enough i think uh the players enjoyed themselves and for me it was just amazing as well really wish i could do this uh, more often um, i do have one more clip as well which was actually recorded just before we played those games um, i was just sitting down with tiago just chatting about some stuff and i told him that he actually deserved five star skin was in fifa 17 i think at the time it wasn't even released yet so um yeah his reaction was really really cool as well because you all know he's just amazing when it comes to skills and he obviously deserved it and he has five star skin was now in fifa 17 which is amazing uh before we're gonna go into the gameplay i know the very Video is already kind of too long but um yeah i just want to let you guys know as well that i'm sort of doing a giveaway around tiago because when i was there i actually had the opportunity to uh get some stuff signed as well and i do have some fifa 16 ultimate team uh foot items signed by tiago which i want to give away one of to you guys and what you have to do is simply go to my instagram there's a photo just simply leave a like on that picture and uh, leave a comment and uh, i'll uh, i'll choose a winner in probably the upcoming days and uh, i'll most likely reveal it in the next fatal episode so so, um, yeah, make sure to do so if you're interested. Link is in the description. Anyway, let's go into uh, into the first game. We come against a full silver Polish team. Doesn't really look like that interesting when it comes to uh, choosing a substitute player because silver players, they aren't really that amazing. But uh, we obviously have one game left. But uh, it only counts if we, of course, win this game. And uh, we start off really nicely with Thiago, the main man. Scored a really nice skill goal. And um, gives us the first 50k already quite early into this game. So a great start. Then uh, we're in the 15th minute. Uh, we have again Thiago on the ball. Again trying to go in a little score and a score. Uh, he's probably the player I'll use most of the time. Since he obviously is the fatal player. And also simply he's just the best player in this team really. Again very very close making 2-0 there after some skill moves. Then uh, in the 56th minute there. Great ball there from Thiago to Wood. Who was really really pacey actually. Went through the defenders. And uh, actually made it 2-0. A nice finish into the back of the net. Bring the coin total to 80k. Then 61st minute. Yet again Thiago on the ball with some skill moves. Uh, actually tried a little bit too much here with the heel flick. Then we lose the ball. Then we somehow managed to get the ball back here with Wood. A cheeky back heel to Thiago. Tries to go for a shot. Unfortunately though the goalkeeper was there with a good save. Then a 67th minute, a few minutes later, Wood on the ball there, plays it on through to Delaney, managed to beat the defender, then a shot across goal, making it 3-0, getting, uh, getting the coin total to 110k, and that is also how the first game ended. So, uh, yeah, a game with a lot of chances for us, I felt. Uh, probably could have scored more goals, you can see it from the stats too. My opponent did create some chances, but there weren't really any major ones, so uh, an easy win for us. And uh, a great way to start this first episode. Then moving on to the second game. We come up against a Bundesliga team, a silver team. And I was kind of disappointed when I uh, when I saw the team. Because we obviously uh, want some like really good players as our substitutes. And not like silver players, I think anyway. But um, yeah, it was mainly Bundesliga. He had a man of the match in Pulisic, I think. A right winger, so he's an option. We also have Diekmeier as his right back. Which we actually have in our team too. So um, yeah, it will, be, uh, it will be difficult to choose if we of course win this game. We started off great. Great though, scoring from a corner with I think uh, S wine. Then uh, moving on here in the 30th minute, we were just dominating this guy, creating many chances here. Gnabry as well goes with a cross to Wood, who goes with a uh, diving header like Robin van Persie, the flying Dutchman header, and uh, yeah, makes it 2 0. Then 45th minute, my opponent uh, did get himself a chance there too. We managed to go on the counter immediately. And you can see it was pretty much like 
three versus one at this point. Uh, Gnabry there on the left hand side. I was waiting for him to come near me. We went with a fake shot. Thiago was completely free. Pass it off to him. And we make it 3 0 in the 45th minute. Bring the coin total again to 110k, just like in the previous game. So, um, yeah, a really nice way to go into the second half. Then a few minutes into the second half, it's him on the ball here with that man of the match, Pulisic. Uh, I was thinking like he's going to pass it off to one of his other players, but then he smashed it into the goal. Really nice one off the crossbar and in, and uh, brings the coin total down to 80k, unfortunately. Uh, then 61st minute, a few minutes later, you can see from the gameplay sometimes too that it was laggy because it was a bit of a laggy game, but it was still playable. Uh, hitting the post there with uh, Thiago. Then a few minutes later, S1 here on the ball. Not the most skillful player, but still went with some body feints to beat the defense. Uh, we had a lot of uh, time here as well. Took the shot, the goalkeeper saves that from the rebound. Again, a good save there from his goalkeeper. And uh, we were very close, making it 4-1. And eventually the 4-1 was actually coming right there. You can see it with uh, Thiago. A nice uh, body feint to cut in and uh, a great finish shot into the back of the net picking up another extra 50k then towards the end in the 83rd minute a bit of pass and move and play we lose the ball we get it back immediately we send away s who stays calm and shoots it into the back of the net to make it 5-1 and brings the coin total to 160k and that is also how the game ended so um, yeah a tough game when it comes to like playing because it was a bit laggy but you can see we created so many chances probably could have scored more goals too but uh, we got a nice coin total of 270k after one episode. And uh, that's what we're obviously going to be spending on the next two players. But uh, first of all, I want you uh, guys to let me know which substitute player we should go with. It will most likely be from the second team because that was the better team we faced against. But um, yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And uh, in the next episode, I'll reveal which player is going to be on the bench. Uh, then we move on to the pairs. We're going to go with pair one. We have uh, the squad building challenge version and five-star skiller Douglas Costa and also Manuel Neuer. And then as a second option, we have two defenders in Sergio Ramos and the uh, regular version of Boateng. He also does have a, a downgraded version, which is uh, 89 rated. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below which pair I should go with. And uh, in the next episode, of course, we're going to be adding those two players to the squad. So um, that's pretty much going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. would be very much appreciated. Make sure to check out all the other YouTubers as well. Links can be found in the description. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.